So business at its best. It's clear that sustainability is on the minds of the C-suite, regardless of the industry, regardless of geography or the maturity of the company. CEOs and others, uh, thought leaders with their fingers on the pulse of business these days are raising this topic more and more. And they're telling us they believe business needs to figure out a way to address societal sustainability aspects as a core part of their business to be able to thrive and survive. So the specifics of forces and the level of urgency may vary by industry, by region, but make no mistake, every business has to understand and confront societal sustainability, societal issues, and figure out how those embed into their strategy. So let's talk about what is sustainable value creation. Sustainable value creation is a core business strategy. So it's not an icing on the top of the cake. It's not something you apply afterwards. It's baked into the batter of corporate business strategy. It addresses fundamental social issues. So issues like hunger, poverty, illiteracy, disease. It focuses on new and scalable solutions. So this is not a, a niche type uh, business for a company. It's not uh, a hobby. Uh, these are scalable solutions that we're after. It brings competitive advantage. So it's got to be good for the business. It's got to be something different. And one of the most important and recurring themes, it has to deliver measurable results. Measurable results in terms of business performance and measurable results in terms of societal impact. As a result of our extensive conversations with CEOs and others, we distilled five key imperatives that really need to be in place for sustainable value creation to be effective within the company. Imperative number one, recognize the opportunity. What societal issues are even out there and which ones are closest to our core business strategy and capabilities? Take a look at what is limiting you today as a business. And if you explore further and go through the root cause analysis, what our uh, research found was that quite often the societal issues are buried underneath some of the issues that you're already facing. If you look at imperative number two, we called it recalibrate your radar. Well, what this is all about is once you understand that there are challenges out there that may be appropriate for you to address, how do you prioritize what to go after? And how do you figure out your scope of involvement? Because business can do many things to solve a problem. So how do you figure out what exactly to do? We came up with four ways to help companies really recalibrate their radar. One, tap into trends. Track customer pain points. Empower passionate employees. And then engage critics. And then, of course, once you have the ideas, you have to, you have to screen them through typical processes or typical uh, checkpoints. Clarity of the social need, is it clear what I'm going after? Uniqueness, is it a crowded field or not? Strategic fit, which it needs to be a strategic fit to ensure the durability of your impact. And then alignment with core competencies. Do I have the skills to actually be able to deliver success here? Imperative number three, research, develop, and repeat. You have to be able to have the tolerance to learn and the tolerance and ability to recycle failure into success. An example, S.C. Johnson's adopted this idea of fail small, learn big. Imperative four is about rewiring the organization. And this is all about scale. So what are the things that might be embedded in your company that may limit your ability to succeed here? And how do you address those? And imperative five, reinforce the value. This is all about the CEO's responsibility. What does the CEO need to do every day, in every forum, with his employees, with external um, channels, to reinforce this message? What this one really comes down to is personal commitment and engagement from the CEO. And how do you know you're on track? One. Relevant societal issues appear frequently and prominently in the company's strategic plan. That's a good sign. Positive, positive examples are being talked about among your employees and outside the company. Employees contribute their own ideas, and there's a mechanism for them to do so. 
regular ongoing education and communication to your employees and other stakeholders. And then finally, and again most importantly, you're producing measurable business results and societal results and you can publish and validate those results. Business has an infinite capacity to, to create and to innovate and to really elevate society. And of course, business is really nothing more than you and me in the room here and people like us and our common efforts together. And so it's up to us as business to decide to harness that infinite capacity and to direct it to produce outcomes that we choose. And so when we finally get home at the end of a long day of work or a long week on the road and we're reflecting on our accomplishments to our family or to our friends or to ourselves, let's not only be able to say that our stock went up and that our shareholders are happy, let's be able to say, yes, we made that happen, but we made it happen by elevating society, by fundamentally improving the human condition, and by making a difference. To me, that's a good day at the office, that's business at its best, and, and that is sustainable value creation.